From 13 ABC Action News, this is a breaking news alert. We continue our coverage overnight of protests downtown and clashes with police officers. A curfew issued by the mayor of Toledo expired at 6 o'clock this morning. It was prompted by the escalation of tensions last night. An organized demonstration yesterday afternoon was started because of the killing of George Floyd by a police officer in Minneapolis, Minnesota. It has sparked outrage and civil unrest across the country, including here in Toledo. Protesters stood outside the safety building on the grounds of the Lucas County Courthouse for several hours. And as the day wore on, you could see vandalism, violence, clashes with police, even tear gas and pepper spray on the crowd. We're going to have a wrap up of all those events as they occurred in just a few minutes. But first, we're going to head downtown right now where we find my colleague Mackenzie Keyline, who has a look at what's happening right now. Mackenzie. Well, Tony, it's a calm morning here downtown after a chaotic night. We are here at the corner of Jackson and Erie, just across from the Toledo Police Headquarters. This is where those protests were staged yesterday afternoon. As you know, hundreds of people downtown in this area, they were protesting the death of George Floyd in Minneapolis, also uh, at wanting racial inequality, uh, protesting for that reason. You can see the signs still left here in downtown. As we move further on, you can see some of the debris left behind from those protests yesterday. This was all part of that organized demonstration for a uh, police accountability march that happened here downtown started about three o'clock yesterday afternoon it started off peacefully and then things slowly started to take a turn as they became a little more violent in the area Toledo police having to use not only tear gas but also rubber bullets to try and break break up the crowd in this area and calm things down quite a bit. We also talked with Mayor Wade Kapsikavich who explained that Toledo police arrested 10 people last night three others injured take a listen Two protesters were injured. One police officer was injured. All appear to have been injured by projectiles uh, thrown by protesters. So the two protesters who were injured were appear to have been injured by things thrown by other protesters. One was an M80 uh, and the other was some sort of a projectile. I do not know uh, what kind. And again, protesters clashing with Toledo police. Protesters also stopped traffic in the downtown area. 13 ABC's Alexis Means has a look at that. Hundreds of people gathered here in front of the Toledo Police Department to protest racial injustice. When it was all over, things got out of hand. Police vehicles were damaged. Protesters were sprayed with tear gas and police used less lethal tactics to disperse the crowd. What started off as a peaceful protest and a call for justice for George Floyd ended up with protesters yelling at officers and destroying downtown businesses. Why not just go home now? You've done your protest, why not go home? We ain't doing that. Not today, not tonight. You know what I'm saying? We we started out peaceful. What they trying to do is they trying to they try to push us out of downtown, go to our own neighborhoods. They think we're going to tear up our own neighborhood, but we want to be down here. We want to be downtown right in front of them. Police mobilized in riot gear to protect downtown properties. Officers used tear gas to disperse the crowd. The goal was to protect people, lives, citizens, police officers, all buildings downtown. Uh, the, that peaceful protest, unfortunately, there were agitators in that crowd that turned it not, no longer peaceful. Uh, citizens' cars were vandalized. Windows of the courthouse were broken out. Police cars were vandalized. <coughs> Photojournalist Todd Gertner and I were caught in the middle of the chaos. Uh, uh. <coughs> I'm okay. You sure? Uh, yeah, I'm okay. You sure? Protesters told me they are tired of being harassed by police officers. They are fighting against decades of racial discrimination and injustice. Oh, we just sending the message, just letting them know, you know what I'm saying, yeah. across the country, you know what I'm saying, yeah. that, you know, they don't yeah. understand why we're doing this, but it's been event after event of them treating us wrong, so we're just going to keep on letting them know that we ain't going for it. The mayor says that there were three minor injuries, two protesters and one Toledo police officer. Back to you in the studio. 
And also one man is under arrest this morning after several people broke into the target on West Alexis. Brian Wilson is facing charges of breaking and entering an aggravated riot. Toledo police arrested Wilson last night in the 10 o'clock hour. And according to police records, there are multiple suspects involved. However, police caught Wilson during the looting at that target. So for a look at the damage to Target and other nearby businesses, here's 13 ABC's Kayla Molinder. Here at the Target on West Alexis in Toledo is where looting occurred last night. Toledo police confirmed that people did get inside, do damage, and take items, but the amount of damage that was done and the number of items that was taken is still unknown at this time. At the time people broke in, there were employees working inside of the store, but there were no reported injuries. New Star Beauty Supply is three doors down from the Target. New Star's door was smashed in, items were stolen, and inventory was scattered all over the floors and out into the parking lot. The owners have not yet assessed the amount of damage done. New Star Beauty is a family owned business. The owners are immigrants, so the family has an understanding of and sympathy for victims of discrimination. However, this act of aggression against their store is something that they do not understand. By hitting us like this, you are really setting us back. You're setting yourselves back and you're really not giving back to the community at all. Around the time that these break-ins occurred, there was also a fire set in the parking lot, but that fire was very quickly put out. And after police secured both of the stores, cars continued to circle around the parking lot until TPD was able to disperse them about an hour later. Kayla Molander, 13 ABC, Action News. And back here live downtown, some barricades still in place blocking streets to get to the downtown area from yesterday's protest. Also, cleanup expected to be underway a little bit later on today from some of the debris left behind from that protest yesterday. Tony. We must love and protect each other. Back to our coverage of the demonstrations across Toledo yesterday. They were part of a nationwide protest expressing outrage over the death of George Floyd at the hands of a Minneapolis police officer. Those day-long demonstrations started peacefully here in town. Here's a look at the timeline leading up to the clashes with officers. At noon, 12 o'clock p.m., there was a Black Lives Matter protest near Secor and Central. Nearly 200 people lined this high-traffic corridor and there were no incidents. Then later at 3 p.m., the police accountability march started downtown. It also drew large crowds. Crowds blocked traffic along Jackson and Erie. Eventually, protesters dispersed and tensions escalated. The crowd directed anger and frustration toward the safety building. And by about 4.30 p.m., police used tear gas and rubber bullets on the protesters to get them to disperse. The situation continued to get heated. Mayor Wade Kapsikavich orders a curfew in the downtown zone from 9 o'clock until 6 o'clock this morning. That was overnight and has since expired. After that was ordered at 9 o'clock last night, more tear gas was used to disperse the crowds. And then, about an hour later, most of the protesters were gone. Protesters were leaving the downtown area, but a half hour after that, 10.30 p.m., there were reports of looting at the Target and the surrounding businesses on West Alexis Road. At 11 p.m., Toledo Mayor Wade Kapsikavich held a news conference to talk about the city's response to the protests. And while footage from across the country shows people looting and setting fire to buildings, you may be wondering what downtown looks like this morning. My colleague, 13 ABC's Mackenzie Keyline, is downtown giving us a look. Mackenzie? Good morning, Tony. We are on Madison and Erie here. We want to show you a look of some of the damage this has done to the windows of a building here on uh, Erie. We had a chance to talk to the owner of the office space here. He says about four windows were busted out during that protest yesterday. But cleanup underway here in downtown Toledo from those organized demonstrations yesterday is all part of what's being called the police accountability march that happened around three o'clock yesterday afternoon right in front of the Toledo Police Headquarters downtown. As we make our way here down Madison, we want to show you that the barricade's still in place as cleanup, as I mentioned, underway. So they do have several of the streets in this area blocked off this morning. And again, um, most of the damage that was done in the downtown area happened to be here at the corner of Erie and Madison. But uh, as we mentioned, those protests starting off peaceful around 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and then things slowly started to take a turn as Toledo police officers had to use tear gas, as you mentioned, also using rubber bullets to try and disperse the crowd during those protests yesterday afternoon. As you know, they're protesting the death 
of George Floyd in Minnesota um, over earlier this week, also calling for a change when it comes to police policy. We had a talk. We had a chance to talk with one man who shared his reasons for protesting. We just sending the message, just letting them know, you know what I'm saying, yeah. across the country, you know what I'm saying, yeah. that, yeah. you know, they don't yeah. understand why we're doing this, but it's been event after event of them treating us wrong, so we're just going to keep on letting them know that we ain't going for it. Package. Is this in video or me? And Toledo Mayor Wade Kapsikavich says about 10 people were arrested last night. Three injured, including a Toledo police officer. We're told that officer is expected to be okay. But the Toledo Police Department is saying that they had to use all their resources available last night during that protest. And I-Team reporter Sean Hegarty has a look at the damage. Good morning. There is extensive damage in downtown Toledo. I want to show you some of it here. This is the Huntington Bank in downtown Toledo at the corner of North Huron and Madison Avenue. The street sign just thrown right through the window Saturday night. This is one of a number of businesses here on Madison that have damage from the violence that happened on Saturday night. Mayor Wade Kapsikavich of Toledo making a statement about everything that happened on Saturday evening. He said he actually took part in some of the protests and listened to people earlier in the day and was part of the activity. He said he does not support the violence that happened in the hours past that. He said much of the violence took place uh, between about 8 o'clock and hours on after that. He actually had a curfew in the city of Toledo to try to get people out of the area. When it comes to the injuries that have been released so far, what he is saying is that it does not count anybody that might have been hit with some rubber bullets. Those kind of things were not counted in the information that is being released about injuries. He did say that he has heard from folks on social media who say that Toledo police officers were too aggressive and people that have been talking about specific incidents. He said at this point he does not have enough information to make any sort of decisions or to come to any conclusions about the incidents, but he said that he is listening and will take thorough investigations to make sure that everything is vetted and make sure that everything that happened on Saturday night was happening by the book. When it comes to the police force that was out here, he said that all officers were called back to the job on Saturday night. The city of Toledo was even assisted by the Maumee Police Department, which was out here as well in different parts of the city. In addition to the help from places like Maumee, state troopers were called in. You saw those throughout downtown Toledo on Saturday night. He said that the National Guard was not called in. That was not something that was put on the radar here in Toledo. You might have heard about other places in the state of Ohio, but not in the city of Toledo. So expect a big cleanup to happen in the city of Toledo this morning and going into Monday. Places like this and other places around downtown that will have broken glass. And as Sean just mentioned, that cleanup already underway this morning here in downtown Toledo. You can see people out sweeping the glass and other debris uh, that was scattered on the roadway here. This is again on Madison and Erie in downtown Toledo. Following those protests, all part of a nationwide movement for those organized demonstrations. Tony.